How, how have you been with all the strange times we're living in? It's been strange, but you know, hanging in like everybody. Yeah, that's all we can do, right? Yeah, so how, how have things been with you? How have you been handling everything? Like from what I've seen on, on your socials, you've been having a, a pretty good time with things. I, I have been very, very lucky. I mean, we started off in New York, uh, which was hit really hard, as you know. And then after a few weeks, it was we were in a tiny apartment in the East Village. One of my dear friends who lives out in California, she has a guest house. So she was like, come out here. There's loads of things for Sunday to do. There's a farm at the bottom of the driveway. So we came out here and we've been here for, we thought it would be like a month. We came with two suitcases and we've been here for like four months. So yeah. How wonderful, how board. wonderful. Yeah, yeah we're so, very so lucky. You, yeah, have you been able to be creative and staying active with, with your art or has it been all family time and kind of just chilling? Well, you know, having a, I, I have a 16 month old, so that takes up a lot of my time, but I have actually, just recently I feel like my creativity has sparked again. Uh, somewhat so that's been really nice to kind of get stuck into storytelling again and you know I'm going to go back to the show hopefully in a few months so kind of gearing up to do even more it's going to feel even harder isn't it it's like having like an extended period off like the holidays and then having to go back to work <laughs> that's a whole, whole other thing right exactly mm -hmm. yeah and talk about that show because since we talked last your world has kind of blown up and you've obviously a while in New Amsterdam and just kind of taken off how has your life changed since the success of that show um, I, I would say I'm, I'm very lucky in some ways that my job is quite separate from my life and not many actors get that opportunity and who knows if that will always be the case for me, but people tend to look at me like they know me, but they don't offer, they can't place me. And I think, I mean, I do tend to look different. I'm speaking with a different accent. I'm American in the show. So I think that I don't like to dye my hair a lot, change it up. I don't know, maybe that's why. But I feel like my life feels the same, except for, I mean, I've had a baby and I got married. So those are pretty big things. Um, but yeah, I'd say my, my life feels the same, just better and fuller. <laughs> right, right. And this, and this movie now, Retaliation, this was actually was shot before these things happened, right? This has been a yes. while. So talk about where you were at the time, your place in your life. It made you want to be part of this movie. What, what, were, what was going on then that this movie was appealing? It's, you, it's so well done. You're so great in this. What was it about this film that appealed to you? Well, I, I was looking, I was really being choosy with my time off from Salem because I really wanted to do something that I felt was meaningful rather than I was like, I'm on a show. I don't need to just take a job for the money. Um, and nobody takes an indie for the money because there is no money. <laughs> but I read this script. And they said that an actress had dropped out. Uh, so it would like to be to fly to London in the next week. They sent me the, the director's sh uh, first movie that they did that had won a bunch of awards. And I was like, wow, this is really interesting. I really love these guys. I did a self tape. I then FaceTimed or Skyped with the directors and it all happened really quickly. And all of a sudden I was like starring in a movie with Orlando Bloom. So it was very exciting and I mean, rarely do you get to work with people that you feel like a true integral artist. Is that a terrible thing to say? But both Ludd and both Ludd and Paul, they were, they had such a, it was different from working on a TV show entirely because they had such integrity to their art. And I really mm -hmm. felt that. And it was a really, it was a really beautiful thing for me to experience because I think it, helped me realize that that was a very important part of what I wanted in my career. Especially for such a serious, um, important, somber piece, it'd be good, nice to have people that are, as you described, because I'm sure this was tough in lots of ways to get to these certain places you had to go. Yeah, I mean, especially for Orlando. And I think if it's not done with the right intention, something like this, it's, it, you know, it's painful to watch and a totally different way because you feel people trying to reach for things that aren't real but this was mm -hmm. made with a lot of heart I mean the writer the writer really poured his heart and soul into it uh Jeff Thompson and you feel that within in the moments of the script what another thing I loved about the movie and being on set as opposed to television is they let everything breathe and they're like yeah just take your time with it and I was like what there's me at my, my television pace. I was like, what do you mean take my time with it what does that mean <laughs> oh my god and then I watched the movie and I was like this is more is said in life in in the moments 
where you're not saying anything when you're saying it, you know? It's, and I felt that in the movie. There are those quiet moments and, you, and your work is so great and Orlando's work is so great, those moments where you guys are just looking at each other and, or you're waiting for him to speak and that's just so well done, uh, those, those certain scenes because there's a number of those and you both are excellent during those moments. Yeah. I mean, I, I felt working with Orlando, he really, he was coming at it from a very different place from me because he, he had a very different career from me. Um, mm -hmm. But he really, he really wanted to show something of himself in this movie that people hadn't seen before. And I, I think for me, it's like some of the best work I've ever seen him do, you know, and I've, yeah. I haven't seen all of his movies or anything, but he really is, it feels vulnerable and raw. How does California life change you the most? I, I am, it's night and day. Like growing up in like England, I think I was always miserable and California makes me the happiest. I love the sunshine. I hate it when British people are like, but don't you miss the seasons? I'm like, no, fuck no, I don't. It's lovely all the time. <laughs> and uh, Emmy hopes and dreams, the Emmys are right around the corner. Um, I know what this year is gonna look like, but uh, how much of that are you paying attention to? Um, not very much, to be honest, but I will say this, I really, I mean, I would obviously love to win an Emmy, but I feel like going back to shoot New Amsterdam after everything that's happened and really having a new, a whole new scope of the medical industry, I'm very excited for what we're going to do this year on the show. And I think that people, you know, who are on the Academy and stuff, they will start to pay attention more to our show from it because people want to know what happened to these doctors and nurses. So, sorry, I'm veering off movie for a second. <laughs> no, that's all right. No, we're look, looking forward to more of that. I'm sure we'll, we'll talk to you when uh, NBC rolls all that out when the time is right. And yeah, let's definitely make sure that happens. I would yeah. really like, uh, maybe I'll get to fly back to LA and come see you again. <laughs> that'd be fun, that'd be fun. Well, congrats on this, congrats on the show, congrats on this great movie and enjoy your life there with the family and the horses. And Thank you so much. Where are you? Are you in, are you in LA as well? Or I'm right, yeah, I'm right here in town. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, it's so good to see you again. And thank you so much for watching the movie. I appreciate good it. Good to see you. No, of course. Can we see a shot of the horse? Is it visible? I, do you know what? It's, it's behind that tree over there. But he's been <laughs> very, very noisy. I, I, he does it all the time. Uh, looks, looks, looks. Uh, he's not my horse. He's just my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> got it. Got it. All right. Real pleasure talking to you. You too. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.